Hello and welcome everybody, my name is the IT Guy and in this video we'll have a look at how to install KVM on Ubuntu 20.04. So first of all, we'll need to make sure that our CPU actually supports virtualization. So you want to do egrep c uh, vmx svm proc cpu info just the way I uh, entered it over here. We're going to do enter and if that result is more than one then that means that you have virtualization uh, capabilities on your CPU. Now that being said you'll still need to make sure that it's enabled in the BIOS so you'll need to go into the BIOS and you'll need to enable either Intel VT if you have an Intel CPU or AMD V if you have an AMD CPU and that can be found in the BIOS and if you do not know where to find it contact your manufacturers uh, or, or um, look at your manufacturer's website the manufacturer of the motherboard and it will be uh, somewhere in there where you can enable those options now we'll need to make sure that we install all the necessary software so we're going to install a few things over here so let me go over that so we're going to install qemo-kvm libvirt clients and then we're going to install libvirt daemon system and also the bridge utils so those are some applications that we'll need to install to make sure that uh, KVM actually can work because these are very es essential tools that we'll need to run KVM so we're gonna just do enter over here uh, it's gonna ask us for our password but we already entered our password previously so you want to continue we're gonna do Y to continue it's going to install everything right now and we'll just have to wait for that to complete so now we'll need to make sure that our user is actually added to the KVM group and to the libvirt group. So we're going to do sudo add user. And then we're going to uh, define our name. So Herbert in our case. So this is the username that you're working with. And basically it's this one over here. Libvirt. And it looks like we already are a member of that group. And let's see if we're going to have to do that for KVM as well. Okay, so we weren't a member of the group KVM, but we were a member of the root group Libvirt. That's why I always run these commands because they don't automatically add those uh, add you to the, the to the KVM groups or to the Libvirt groups always. So always good to have a second uh, second uh, check for that. So now we have one final thing to do. Basically, you can start working with KVM, but it's always better to have uh, something like a virtual manager to actually manage everything. So we're going to install sudo apt install. And then we're going to do vert dash manager. We're going to do yes. Now let's exit out of here. So now we have installed the virtual machine manager. Let's open it up. Let's type in virtual machine manager right over here. Oops, it appeared on the other screen. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's uh, select create a new virtual machine. Let's just use a local install media. Let's browse for one. Let's browse local. Let's select this one over here. I have 18.04 server. And it will automatically detect it. If it doesn't automatically detect it, you can always just disable this one and then you can enter the um, the operating system that you want. Let's go forward. 2 gigs of memory, 2 vCPUs should be enough. 15 gigs of disk space is normally plenty for this kind of installation. Let's hit finish. And there we go. Our virtual machine is already starting up. So yeah, it's easy as that. It's one of the easiest hypervisors to install. It's one of the easiest hypervisors to work with. And with having an hypervisor, you can start playing around with Linux as much as you want. So thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like and a comment below. And if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.